I'm concerned that we don't have the naval capac uh, capabilities to ensure that we are successfully deterring any conflict against the CCP in the Indo-Pacific. House Republicans slam federal agencies over damaged defense equipment sent to Taiwan. In a scathing letter, Republicans called the delivery of moldy body armor and expired munitions improper and inexcusable. The equipment, which cost over 730000 to replace, was damaged due to improper packaging and harsh weather conditions. The letter, led by Representative Young Kim, chairwoman of the House Foreign Affairs Indo-Pacific Subcommittee, expressed concern over the troubling report from the Department of Defense's Inspector General. The report found that between November 2023 and March of 2024, the Pentagon failed to follow delivery guidelines resulting in water damage to over 340 pallets of equipment. Of those, 120 were delivered to Taiwan, containing over 3,000 mildewed body armor plates and 500 moldy tactical vests. Republicans noted Taiwan has yet to receive $24 billion worth of equipment and munitions, with $9.82 billion worth of pending deliveries being delayed as of September. The Biden administration recently announced an additional $567 million in defense aid for Taiwan. House GOP lawmakers are calling on the DOD's Defense Security Cooperation Agency and the State Department's Bureau of Political Military Affairs to answer questions on the oversight of the delivery. They also requested a classified briefing on steps taken to ensure this never happens again. That requires DOS and DOD to report to Congress on reasons for backlog sales to Taiwan in the Indo-Pacific allies. And it uh, asks, you know, it provides the authority uh, that Congress could use to expedite these uh, deliveries. So the legislation was already signed into law through NDAA. So can you provide me with an update on the implementation of that law and what steps that the State Department is taking to expedite that delivery of arms to Indo-Pacific partners and allies, especially our allies who are facing threats from the PRC and North Korea? Madam Chairman, thank you for your question. On the specific question about a backlog in, in uh, arms sales to Taiwan, I can assure you that the U.S. government, certainly the State Department, uh, we are committed to meeting uh, our obligations under the Taiwan Relations Act to assist Taiwan in maintaining a sufficient self-defense uh, capability.